I take the voice of that for that child and, and make sure she never, she, she, that she didn't die for nothing. The family of the seven-year-old girl from Granby, Quebec, 80 kilometers south of Montreal, who died in April 2019 of abuse and negligence at the hands of her stepmother and father, are suing Youth Protection Services and the School Service Center, alleging negligence. The mother and paternal grandmother of the girl who are behind the suit must remain completely anonymous since it's a case surrounding youth protection. City News agreed to change their voices and keep them off camera. Un enfant qui aurait eu 11 ans aujourd'hui est parti à 7 ans parce que le gouvernement n'a pas su faire ce qu'il devait faire, un centre de protection de la jeunesse, qui veut dire protéger les enfants. The family says the Provincial Youth Protection Authority and the local school board are responsible for varying degrees of misconduct, claiming $3 million in damages. The girl had been known to youth protection officials, who had left her in the custody of her father despite several reports of violence. I have trouble every day. I have trouble seeing my own children because I don't allow myself to be a mother, because I tried everything to protect my child, and they denied us. They called us crazy. The fact that she was obliged to put um, dirty uh, underwears even uh, and dirty clothes, uh, the fact that she had lunches with uh, rotten food, and she mentioned to, to the school, if I don't eat it in the school, I will be obliged to, um, to eat it as supper. The fact that she said that she has to be on her tippy toes and, uh, and make uh, exercise when she was not eating at all. The young girl who was abused and malnourished died of asphyxiation after being wrapped in layers of duct tape before her death. Last December, the girl's stepmother was found guilty of second-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. She's appealing the verdict. The killing sparked outrage, raising questions about youth protection and the ability of the province to protect vulnerable youth and led to wide-ranging inquiries into the youth protection system. Despite all the warnings, all the police interventions, they didn't protect her. No amount of money will bring back my granddaughter, but it's time that the people that are supposed to protect do it for real. I hope that this lawsuit will um, wake up some people that need to be awakened. In Granby, Brittany Enriquez, City News.